Welcome back to FS22 and today we're going to do another course play and auto drive video and something a bit different that you don't see very often, sugar cane. Um, someone asked about sugar cane so I thought I'd give it a try and we're going to go all the way through from uh, planting through to harvesting using the two different harvesting options. So I have the biggest planter here because planting is just a case of setting up a normal course play course. So we are going to right click to bring up our mini HUD and then click on no course to get into the course generation and uh, actually well you need to close that because we need to set our targets up properly now i'm going to zoom in we're going to put our target position to be just in front of the tractor and then our field position just on the edge of the field we want to use so we will open the course generator up and uh, working with is right i think i'm not going to do any headlines because i think it looks better with sugarcane if it's just planted in up down rows and we've got plenty of space around the field so uh multiple tools is on one so she we should be good to uh not be able to generate the course there we go so if we just hit generate course we get us a nice simple up down course uh, so i'm going to jump out there and then we will go for first waypoint so it's a left click on the waypoint selection and then we will just hit play and uh we should be able to let this run now getting the cane planted so stick this on a bit of a time lapse because you really don't need to watch that let's just check that it is in fact planting it is so we'll just leave this to get the job done and uh, i'll be back right with you in a bit it's pretty repetitive so we're just coming up on the last two rows of getting this little field planted with sugar cane and while i've been away i have procured all the harvesting equipment we need and um, so we're going to look at three options we have the self-propelled harvester with its own trailer we'll try it with carting and we will try then the big well not the, self, the pull behind harvester with its own trailer and with a carter and then we'll try the self-propelled harvester with a carter now i have not had much success with the harvesting side of things it's been a bit mixed um auto drive has had an update so it's on 2.0.0.4 now i think which says it improves harvesting particularly sugarcane harvesters i believe it mentions so we will see on that front yeah, and i'm running course play um version 25 and is it 7.0.0.25 uh, so we will see how we get on with harvesting so once this is finished i'm going to pull the planter out of the way i'll skip forward a bunch of months i don't have seasons on so we're not going to wither at all and i will be back with you when we are ready to try and harvest some sugar cane So it's quite a lot of time later. Sugarcane takes forever to grow. And we have the pull behind sugarcane harvester on the back of our hay tractor. Uh, so that's a 45,000 pounds, dollars, euros harvester. So obviously much cheaper than the self propelled option. Um, it's a single row harvester, so it's quite slow. Um, and it does six miles an hour it can tow its own trailer so we have that thirty-one thousand pound trailer on the back and um, 
if you're not aware this is a trailer that you can then dump into a bigger trailer it uses the front loader control so I couldn't get it to auto unload um, so if you want to harvest a large amount of crop with this harvester you're probably going to want to have two trailers on hand and then swap and in that case you could probably just use a normal trailer and uh, just alternate them and uh, take your sugar cane to wherever you are storing it so um, we need to unfold this guy so it's an offset trailed harvester and we need to open the pipe up and then it dumps straight into the trailer and then we're going to try and make ourselves a course so we will uh, jump into the course play menu and create a job and go across to course play field work and our target position we are going to put about here our field position we'll put just in front of it and i am going to do a lot of headlands because this is very narrow and uh, you really want to be working on the outside of the crop so i think we're going to go for 10 headlands and then we're going to go for in the field center we're going to go for a racetrack so we should keep working around the outside we're going to do smooth corners just because that will be easier and i think we are good to go so we will generate our course uh, close the uh course play generator get out of here and uh, open up mini hud so that's a right click put it on first waypoint and we'll hit go and we'll see how we do now although this only needs a hundred horsepower i have found that and what we're seeing here is that it's not got the offset right so we're going to stop the course and we need to it's really hard to see because the crop's really long. Um, if I can zoom in, right, we need to adjust the offset so that it's sitting in front of the harvester, not on the tractor. Sometimes course play has automatically detected this, sometimes it has not. So we're going to loop back around and set this guy going again. ourselves stuck on this stupid barn there we go ignore my highly professional driving and we'll swing around again and we'll set ourselves up and we'll go for first white point again so a little bit of trial and error and uh, hopefully now we should be good We'll just keep an eye on things and check that we are indeed taking that first row and i think we could probably do with being a little bit more so we'll leave it at that i think and yeah course play harvesting with the pull behind with its own trailer we we'll just let that run for a headland i think i'll stick it on a time lapse just so you can see it working for a bit and then we will uh, see if we can get it going with a carter with auto drive in fact i might as well just keep talking so uh, i don't do sugar cane very often i keep wanting to say sugar beet because that's a crop i do do quite often um, but testing this has made me kind of curious as to uh, how profitable it could be given that there's a moderately affordable harvester now you know 70,000 is not too bad for the cost of a harvester uh, and if you can get course play to do that harvesting it might be worthwhile it's a pretty highly profitable crop i believe um, it usually was in 19 although i never really did it again um, so it's got me curious it's definitely got me curious so we're just coming around finishing off this first headland and uh, I think at that point we will probably stop this guy and uh, I'm just going to pull off to the side and drop the trailer that we're towing Actually, I'm going to take this out of the way I'll reset and I will be back so drop the trailer off 
Um, what we're going to do is set this to the last waypoint. So that should take us to where we were harvesting last. And we're going to hit play on him. So he should drive up now and get into position. And then we'll set up auto drive. Okay, so we've got this Massey Ferguson with the class carrot trailer that is used for almost everything. Uh, I'm just going to get the first little bit going here. Uh, just to get around that corner. And then we'll get auto drive set up. Yeah, he's happy. Right. So, we don't really have anywhere that we're going to tip. So, what I'm going to do is say so quite a lot. Um, and then we're going to get auto drive up and get into editing mode and hit record and we're going to drop a waypoint here and this will be our tip point. I'm not going to harvest enough that we need to tip. And then we're going to drive forwards. And so at the moment it's set up to put the points on the ground rather than above the tractor, which I'm not a fan of, but you know. We will then create another waypoint for clean field and we'll just loop that around. And stop recording. Back up and close that loop up. And then we can turn off editing mode, put this on to harvesting, and we'll see how this works. So we'll set him going. Uh, we need to open up auto drive on here. Put that on cane field. And hopefully magic will happen. Yeah, I found that auto drive struggles to get itself under the auger because it's not a combine. It's not a forage harvester where it will shoot it into the trailer. It needs to actually get sat under the auger. And a lot of my testing I found that it just didn't want to do that. The self-propelled one it did reasonably well. So, um, that looks like it's almost in position. I could do with creeping forwards a little bit. Um, let's give it another try. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. We might have to have a play with some settings in a moment. So. Let's make sure that is queued up. Set him off again. And not sure what options we have settings wise in here to uh, adjust how it uh, behaves around the combine. See that's side offset. We can maybe reduce this guy down to zero. Let's see if that helps. Come on, come on, all the way forwards. You're so close. You're so close. Okay, I am going to try a different trailer. Bear with me. I've just swapped to the sugarcane trailer. We'll give this a try. See if the uh, tractor can tuck itself in, in the right place. As I said I did have a lot of problems with this when I was testing it. And I was hoping that the update to auto drive had fixed it. And uh, it is appearing like it may have not. Um, and in which case the way I would run this is I would have course play on the harvester. And you're going to have to cut yourself. So it's as simple as that I think. It's just stopping short. No, we can't have a negative number, so... 
Maybe if we play with the pipe offset. Last attempt. And then we'll uh, switch to the self-propelled harvester. And the nice thing is it's calculating the courses quite quickly, but it's just not getting itself into the position it needs to. Just not pulling. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh so close. Come on. And if there are issues with collisions on the two tractors, Try turning off collision detection. Now collision detection is off, so it's not that. That's not particularly slick, is it? No. So honestly, the way I think I would do this at the moment is... Uh, to be your own carter. Because even then it's quite tricky. To uh, to get in the right spot to keep this guy moving. The course play, yes, can run harvester really well in this case. It's not so good with the carting. So, let's get ourselves switched over to the self-propelled harvester and we'll see if we have more luck with that. We are now into massive overkill, financially wise at least. Um, so this the big old case self-propelled harvester, I say big, it's got a working width of 2 meters. So let's get ourselves a fresh course set up. Um, going to go for something similar so we are going to go for the racetrack course with smooth corners on the headlands we are going to do a lot of headlands and i forgot to set up with my points so target position field position open the course generator generate us a course Probably too many headlands would be my guess. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is a much slight, slightly wider implement. I think it's double the width. So obviously we just had too many headlands there. So I am going to go start job on this one. And we'll see that it will drive to roughly where I dropped that first point and then should pull forwards to the first point on the course. Um, it's obviously going to do a lap because there isn't really any crop there. I might get stuck at the headland sure um, but we're going to jump in the John Deere 8R with a big old trailer on the back and then uh, open up course play not course play auto drive put ourselves into harvester mode and, uh, oh, undo no, it's, it's cool it's uh, it's not change the settings for the individual tractors we will hit go we will set this guy up for the cane field and hopefully we will be good to go this worked much better when i tested it it's uh, got a longer auger so it's easier for the tractor to get under it it's offsets to the side so we don't have the issue of collisions and off we go uh, we just need to find some sugarcane to harvest. There is a tiny bit that's obviously holding it up. Um, but if you need big scale sugarcane farming, then this is your way to go. You could obviously have multiple cars set up, much like we did with the uh, combine and the forage harvester, and then have the them running back to a silo or something like that to store your sugarcane in. I'm not sure where you store sugarcane. 
I don't think I don't, I've got vague recollections of using this harvester. That was my mic falling over. Should have edited that out. Yeah, I've got re vague recollections of using this harvester, but I don't remember where. I don't remember doing it in a very long time. So, uh, yeah, I don't. I probably just sold it straight off the field because it would have been when I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Just see how auto drive handles the corner. If it went back all the way up to the barn. Realistically, you wouldn't use a field this small, so we probably wouldn't be having these long delays as uh, auto drive sorted itself out for the corners. It's probably going to do some weird loops because it's auto drive. That's what auto drive does sometimes. So this is still in development, but um, it works. There we go. Hold on, I just wait. Good stuff. So we did all that waiting for probably what looks like a litre and a half of sugar cane. Hopefully things will start to stabilise once we get more into the field. Although we're obviously going to be doing a lot of headlands because that's how I have it set up. Um, the nice thing about this harvester is it does have some sort of small tank. Um, so it can do a little bit before it panics if the carter isn't there. And I know we're going around an empty headland at the moment. We're very soon going to be done with that and we should get into doing this properly. But the carter's in the right place. The uh, harvester is behaving and we are coming up to some sugarcane to harvest. This one's twice the width of the pool behind that we were using, so uh, that's why this first bit we're not getting much crop off because we did one and a bit headlands. I am curious about the pool behind for small scale sugarcane farming. Not that I do many American type maps, so, and I've just made a geo that takes out sugarcane, so, hey! Um, while we wait, I do have another geo coming, which is very different to the UK one. It is a fast growth geo, so um, you need seasons on still, but the crops will grow much more like they did in FS19. And pretty much everything grows in about two days, two months. So if you have it on one day months, pretty much everything grows in about two days. So if you're interested in that, that should be out in the next day or two. It might come out before this video, actually, depending on how I get things recorded. So, yeah. Also working on some other things around geos and weather and stuff. So keep your eye on the channel if you are interested in those. And we should now see the harvester cross into the second headland and actually have something to harvest. There we go. getting to work. Let's see if we can grab a half decent thumbnail. Something that I am not the best at grabbing but that looks sort of okay. It'd be nice if it had some crop coming out of the auger so uh, there we go. Okay. So how's the cost of looking at a whole thousand litres of sugar cane? Wow. We are not going to be supplying Pepsi or Coca-Cola with all their sugar needs. But we are running nice and steadily. So I think that shows that actually auto drive is pretty good with uh, this combination. Just not so good with the pull behind. And I think that's probably just because it's so small that maybe there are issues with collisions and things. And it's just... Uh, yeah, auto dry is just not getting itself into the right place or something's not quite set up right with uh, the uh, auger on that pull behind should have came harvest the space game one so it should be but obviously something is not working right there but this guy definitely is so I think we've you know pretty much shown that this works so I'll just leave this to run uh, with a bit of music in the background to finish the video off if you found this useful at all do you do sugar cane um, then uh, leave me a like leave me a comment we've uh, 
we've, if you're not already subscribed as well, we've explored again the uh, the subtleties of trying to use auto drive and course play together. Um, yes, these are tutorials, but they're tutorials of beta mods, and we're all kind of learning still about what works. Um, so I had tested the pull behind before, and I had similar results. It sort of might work occasionally. And I was hoping that the up, so the update of auto for auto drive happened between me doing that testing and recording this video, and I was hopeful that auto drive was just going to do that a little bit more, but it didn't quite get there. Uh, I'm sure it will. I uh, fully expect that the uh, team that produced auto drive will get that sorted and get it working. Um, it's probably a bit of an edge case. How many people really do sugarcane, and then do sugarcane on a small scale with the pull behind harvester? I think that's a pretty small number. I'll probably find out from how many of you actually watched this damn video. Um, yeah, so put some music on, let the uh, sugarcane harvester do its thing, and uh, I'll catch you next time.